there's so much about Madeline that I absolutely treasure and love. Um, and you kind of already know the flashy parts of her. She's amazing. She's electric. She's um, tenacious. She's unstoppable. Uh, very brilliant. Very beautiful. But the things I love the most about Madeline are the non-flashy parts. It's like to tell stories of it would, would, would be the mundane things of I can text her at a, at a moment and she's there to talk. I can tell her about my warts and she loves you anyway. Um, she is one of the safest people I know, one of the most accepting people I know, who knows about my mistakes, who's been there through thick and thin, and she loves you. She's loyal. She's um, the definition of a true friend. And it's funny that Olivia and Janice mentioned ride or die. I had ride or die in my notes, too. She's ride or die. She really is. Um, and so uh, I was also thinking about uh, Justin getting to know you in this, you know, the last over the last year or so. And um, I, you're an amazing match for her. I think that you've won the lottery, if I may say so. Uh, I think you've got an amazing woman by your side. And I know that I have such peace. You are a good man. I'm so happy that you're marrying Madeline and Madeline's marrying you. Um, I'm very, very comfortable knowing that you are a man who is stable, who will take care of her. And you will be with her through thick and thin. And I, I trust you with her. But more than that, um, I've been reflecting on the same gospel story about the wedding. And the, the things that pop out to me about that story with Jesus turning the water into wine um, is the reality of the situation it, that, that happens in life, and especially in marriage. You run out. You don't have enough in your own strength um, in your own capabilities. You run out of attractiveness. You run out of charm and wile. You run out of strength. You run out of intelligence. You don't... At some point, you have to ask God for help. You have to turn to, to God and say, I don't have enough. I need you to make up the difference. And he always will. He will be so faithful. He's with you guys. And the other takeaway from that wedding story is I know that the best is yet to come. This is an amazing party. I haven't even been to the wedding yet. Like, just the rehearsal has been like, banging. This is awesome. But the best is yet to come. Like, he's going to provide for your wedding. You're, this The party's great, but the, the marriage is going to be spectacular. That's the good wine. So please raise your glasses to the best wine is yet to come. Cheers. Cheers.